mouse and action. Okay, hopefully my little spiel beforehand helped you to understand how easy it is to hook up. Could not be easier. And now we're just going to, I'm going to show you how to turn it on and get it going, which is even easier. We've got our panel here. These are our directional buttons. And the center round button is the enter button. Um, I have absolutely no idea what that button's about. I bet if you read the directions that came with it, it would tell you. Um, but I don't do that. And then here we have the on and off button. And we hold it just long enough for the power button up here to go on. And you can hear the fan going on. And now it's loading. And in a second, you have the um, Pico, uh, Pico window up. So we've got our menu here, and I'm going to go back to my iPhone that I'm taking this movie with real quick and just tap the lighting there because I want you to see um, that the image is crystal clear and it's bright and easy to see. There's no need, like with a copy cake, to turn off the lights in the house. In fact, I've got my dining room lights on. In the back from here are all the kitchen lights shining through and straight ahead is the window to outside and it's the middle of the day. So it's just the image uh, quality is unbelievable. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our directional buttons to go down to the only thing that we care about and that's the input. None of these really matter to us for what we do. And I'm gonna select enter and then I'm gonna go to our HDMI hookup and I'm going to say enter. And so the projector now knows what to look for and boom, you've got my iPad. Okay? You might also be able to see that the image is upside down. And that's because when this projection unit is used to shine up on a wall, this is actually the top. And so because we're having it this way, it kind of disorients everything. But this isn't going to be a problem. Um, it's not as, you know, it'd be nice if you could just turn the paper around, but that doesn't work. So um, all the turning around, that was kind of a joke. It was supposed to be funny. So you turn, anyway, um, all the turning around and, and redirection will be on the iPad. So we never have to move this, ever. We don't have to move it up or down to get uh, focus or uh, sizing. Uh, we don't have a lens to move up and down that's going to, fall out into our top of our cookie, which is usually half diced with uh, handwriting on it. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to do all of that from in here. And let's just open up an image that I want to make into a cookie, which is Montreal Confections, um, great little um, Mary Joseph and baby Jesus for Christmas on the acorn shape. Um, and standing in place instead for my cookies, a real cookie will be a cardboard cookie today. Um, but I would just like to go on record that my cookies taste much better than this one. Just saying. Okay, so what we can do is from here we could go ahead and increase the size and get the size we want. We could also reorient it um, by rotating and, and do it that way. But the problem then becomes for us that we can do the sizing larger and we can get it the right direction, but if you try to take it too small, it goes into the thumbnail size. So you couldn't make like a smaller image on a smaller cookie. So instead, what app I found works great for this is using the Camera Lucida or Camera Lucetta. It's about $4.99 in the App Store. It's used for other things. Some of you might be familiar with it already, but it's just perfect for this, for this application. So I'm going to grab this up. Oh, and I forgot I saved it. Okay. Well, if it had come in upside down, um, I could have just turned it with just the push of a button. So that's a real fast save. And then I can resize it to any size I want, as small as I want. I mean, if you're going to make a cookie that small, you need to... You need to rethink what you're doing, but um, or I can make it as large as I want, okay? And so, boom, there it is. And let me just check. I 
it's still focused. Let me show you. Oh, gosh. I mean, can you see how clear that is? It's just awesome. So, um, anyway, uh, the sound quality, the, the noise from the fan is really minimal. The lighting is clear. The adjustment all happens here, so I'm not having to move this up and down. Um, my lights on my house are all on, so I don't have to have, you know, everybody else living in the house bumping around in the dark while I'm making cookies. Um, so, you know, I know it's, you know, it, it, if you buy this and a stand for it and the cords and stuff, you're still coming into under the cost of a KK or really comparably. Um, and I'm very grateful. I'm not knocking the KK. I mean, I've done it, used it for two years and it's been fantastic. But um, this is just, you know, this is for me a kind of a bit of one of those cookie game changers. So um, hopefully this helps you figure out how to set it up and use it. Um, turn off is just like that. And we're done.